So I'm not somebody that would go around telling people what they can or can't eat. But what I saw today on NPR's Facebook, this article that they posted, really disturbed me today. So take a look, that's obviously cicadas. So I teach entomology at Michigan State University and I've got a master's degree in crop and soil sciences, so those are my credentials. Now I wanna be clear, I highly encourage everybody to try new foods. I think it's a really great way to broaden your horizons, but I am not somebody that thinks that you should be putting your health and safety at risk to go and give some stuff a try. So if we open up the article, you see that he's got a bunch of cicadas and pretty much he's sharing a recipe. Now what the article doesn't tell you, and this is why I'm so shocked at NPR, is the high risk of disease that insects carry. So I teach my students about the bubonic plague and insects are just a vector for like a whole plethora of diseases. So it looks like he gives a bunch of instructions on how to harvest and freeze these cicadas, but no warnings at all about allergies. I think people forget that insects can come in contact with a bunch of things. So like if you're a peanut allergy sufferer and that insect was near peanuts or even just the way the protein makeup of a cicada is, they're gonna be deathly ill or end up really sick. There's a reason that insects aren't fully FDA approved and it's because of safety. Anyways, do your research and proceed with caution if you are going to end up deciding to eat bugs. I think I'm just shocked slash surprised that NPR didn't put a disclaimer on there about like safety concerns about consuming insects, especially on the disease end of it. And also really surprised that they didn't have a disclaimer for people with allergies because um, if somebody did like do it yourself or DIY this recipe and they had like a severe allergy, they could end up in a really compromising position. Anyways, I hope that journalism continues to do better and um, everybody just stay safe out there and hopefully if you watch this video and you're considering eating bugs, it makes you think twice.